and welcome back to the Dreamy Storytellers. I'm Bella, and today our book is about our kid and how he's always late for school. What imaginative story does he come up with this time? Or is it imaginative? Well, let's find out as I read to you Our Kid by Tony Ross. Our kid was late for school again. He didn't have his homework or his uniform either. So his teacher sent him straight to the naughty corner. Please, sir, squeaked our kid. I left on time this morning and my mum said, remember to take your homework. And my dad said, go straight to school, our kid. Don't be late again. So I shuffled my homework into my bag and took the shortcut. When you take the shortcut along the beach, you have to dunk all your hooves in the water. Suddenly, a submarine splooshed up out of the waves and squeaked across the sand. Sploosh! Peeping inside a porthole, I saw that it was full of water and the water was full of fish. Their leader, Captain Mackerel, said that they were chasing pirates and could take me to school on the way. As it was too watery inside the submarine, I rode on the deck and we bumpeted down the road. But before the fish could find the pirates, the pirates found the fish! These were dino pirates. So some were squidly, but others were flumpingly big. The big ones shook the submarine. The fish were all safe inside, but I fell into the pirates' clutches. They snitched my trousers and my school bag. My homework's in there, I cried as the pirates sniggled and bounded away. Uh-oh. I tried to stop them, but they were too big. And if I had, they probably would have eaten me. Hello, boomed a voice. An elephant had snuck up behind me. He was not a wild elephant because he was wearing a belt and a shed on his back. He asked me, Why so glumbumptious, little goat? I told him how I was late for school, so he offered me a lift high up on his back, which was lucky, because it was a long way over the craggly mountains and across the wide blue water. And I got to see it without getting snarked by the crocodiles. Snap, snap, snap. When we got to school, I said thank you and the elephant clumped away. And that's why I got here so late without my homework or my trousers. Our kid be hushed, cried the teacher. Children, what do we call someone who makes up 
such total and utter imaginative stories. But just then... Crumble! The school began to shake. Desks tipped over and chairs bounced around as everybody scrambled out of the nearest window or door. But our kid wasn't allowed to leave the naughty corner. So he was still there when three aliens walked in. Are you our kid? asked the aliens. Our kid nodded. We have something of yours. The aliens held out our kid's trousers and his bag. We were here to get a dinosaur, they said. Our museum has an old one. The one we found had the shorts with your name inside. The dino pirate was excited to be visiting a new planet and the whole class waved goodbye as the spaceship zrumbled off. Then everybody ran back inside. You were bravey to face the aliens like that, said his teacher. Our kid handed in his homework and the teacher gave him a gold star and an apple without even reading it. You can be as late as you like tomorrow, he chuckled. This time, our kid skipped straightly home with no shortcuts and his head full of adventures. Back early, said his mum. So what happened today, said his dad. Nothing, said our kid. I really hope you enjoyed that story. See you later. Bye-bye.